So I'm just going to go ahead and truncate that table to get rid of all that data that I don't want. If you don't have access to a GUI like that that's got truncate, then you could drop the database, recreate it, rerun the migration, and you should be back to normal. Let's try and get a little bit more intelligent with the information that we're using. So PHP gives us some built-in functions that actually enable us to pull out useful information from a file path, one of which is path info. So again, we'll use the dump and we'll just pass in path info, which is our function, and then our wallpaper, which is our path. And we'll run this through. And you can see this time, even though it outputs twice, don't worry too much about that. But you can see that path info is going to return us an array and that array contains four keys, dir name, base name, extension, file name. So this is quite good because file names exactly what we want as our slug and base names entirely what we want as our file name. So what I'm going to do is use a little bit of PHP 7.1 destructuring to say from this array that we get back and we call path info on wallpaper, give me the base name and pop that into a variable called file name. And then give me the file name, a little bit confusingly, and pop that into a variable called slug. And remember file name, the reason we're using that is because that, that's what's going to come back in a useful format for us to be the slug. So then we can go ahead and update this to be file name and slug. And similarly, we can do another dump statement here and we could use get image sizes or get image size for wallpaper. See what that gives us. So that gives us an array without named keys. It's got indexes. So zero and one look like what we're after. Zero looks like the width. One looks like the height. Got some other information there that's not really that useful to us. But knowing this, we can again say, this time we'll just do zero, put that into width, one, pop that into height. And we want that to come from get image size wallpaper, making sure to close off that statement. Okay, so then we can update this. And again, don't worry about this. This is because PHP Storm thinks we're working on 5.6, which we ain't. So width and height, it should be good. Our database is empty. So if we rerun that command now, try again, that's looking a lot better. So I'm just gonna clear that off again. And then I'm going to style up this console command to make it that little bit nicer as at the moment all we're getting is this right line command result which is a bit garbage because it doesn't really make any sense. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by creating a new instance of Symphony style which takes the input and the output as arguments. And in using Symphony style what I can do is I can create myself a progress bar. So we'll say progress start and we need to pass in a maximum value that this progress bar is going to count up to. So we'll say wallpaper count is equal to count wallpapers. And remember wallpapers is an array with it's calling count on it. Quite straightforward. Progress start, that tells it the maximum number of results that we're gonna have. So we'll say also here, after we've looped through, IO progress advance. So we'll count up by one. And then when we've flushed, we will do IO progress finish. So let's give that a whirl. Now we get a nice little progress bar output. And again, one last time, I'll just clear off this database truncate the table should I say and we'll also add in a little table as well to show the output of the images that were imported so we'll say to begin with we'll add a little title it starts off by saying importing wallpapers and to make our table we'll need an array of arrays so we'll start off by creating an array called file names and after we've done our progress advance to that array of file names we will add a new array containing the file name a little bit funky syntax. If we don't do it like this, we will get very odd output. And we'll say table is equal to a new table into which we must pass that output variable. Now, we need to make sure that I've got the use statement in there. Symphony console helper. And again, the use statement is in there, not just for the table that we've just added in, but also for Symphony style. And then for our table, we can set the headers, which takes an array, which in our case is just going to be file name. So that's the sort of hard coded piece that tells it what the data is going to be. And then we can set the rows, which in our case is going to be that array of file names. And lastly, we need to call table render to actually see the table. And we will do a little success output as well. Maybe we could just say sprint F. Cool. We added percentage D for a number wallpapers. And that wallpaper count that we created earlier can be the numerical value that we pass in. So let's give that one last shot. Oh, I've used sprint, not sprint F. My mistake, so we didn't get that nice little piece of output at the end, but we did see the table 
with all the images that we've imported and our little progress bar and so on. And so that about wraps up the console command that we've created. Hopefully you found that useful. As I mentioned at the start, it's really an exercise in learning about console commands rather than creating our fixtures. As, as I say, we're not really linking to categories in any way. And in doing so, it would just get even messier. And the downside to using stuff like this is that by the time that we've added in all these extra little pieces of style, and our console command has grown and like the logic is almost equal in size to all the style that we've wrapped around. It's just something to be aware of, but... Yeah, pretty cool all the same. Hopefully you found it useful. In the next video, we are going to move on to using Doctrine Fixtures.